Tell me, tell me something else about about the novel in particular. Like what what is going on in this novel? Maybe something about the characters. Uh, they're hot blooded, and that's again one of the things that he pioneered. You know, one of the reasons that the main character has to leave the backwoods and he goes to Kotsk, where the Chassidim are, his father sends him. With What's his the, name? Mordechai. 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 Uh, in English, it would be. So, you know, Mordechai gets sent to Kotsk basically because his father is really worried because Mordechai can only think about one thing, and that's girls. And he's very worried that Mordechai is going to get some girl into trouble. And God forbid that that girl... It's, it's hard to decide whether it's worse if the girl's Jewish or not Jewish. Either way, it's a majorly <laughs> disaster. And there's a lot of stuff. There's a lengthy description of this kind of neo-pagan, I guess, Polish ritual where they all go down to the river and Mordecha is watching. And it's really, it's one of the most incredible descriptions of horniness in, that I've ever seen anywhere. And of course, no, you know, the word penis never occurs. Uh, there, there, you know, it's very clear what's going on. It's not avoided, but it's also expressed otherwise. And Apatoshu was pretty much the first major writer to introduce that kind of stuff into Yiddish. And Yiddish is, there's more of that stuff in Yiddish literature than people might think, but people were, were still pretty squeamish about it.